what is going on everybody mr tech by here i'm back with another resort tour to bring you now this one you guys chose i did i don't know if anyone noticed well, a few people voted but uh i did put up a poll put up five different resorts said hey where do you guys want me to go and do a resort tour at well the popular majority chose all-star resorts so this is where i'm at um if you want to be partake in the next poll keep it on facebook i'll put a poll up and uh, you guys can pick which one we go to next so i'm here at all-star resorts and i went to all-star movies now there are three different style of all-stars out here there's movies there's music and there's sports now currently right now um only movies and music is open sports is still um since covid hasn't opened back up I believe they've been remodeling it, so it just kind of made sense. But that's supposed to be opening up as of March 31st, 2022. Now, this is, of course, the value of Value Resort um, out here at Walt Disney World, which means this is probably going to be one of the best priced resorts for a Walt Disney World resort. Um, take that for what it is. But, uh, you know, you're gonna it's, it's going to be basic rooms. So... Your, you know, amenities that you're going to get at like Grand Floridian, or even amenities you're going to get like the resort tour I did last time over at, over at Port Orleans French Quarter, you're going to get different type of amenities. Here, um, the rooms are going to be pretty basic. A lot of them have been renovated to where it has like a pull down bed and, um, you know, of course you get another bed, stuff like that. So, um, good value resorts. So, you know, something to check out. The nice part about a lot of these is they're going to have some really good, um, you know, things for the kids. So if you've got little kids, this is a good spot to go because they're going to see all these big figurines, characters, like what I just walked through, which is the Toy Story area. They're going to see these, the pools have, you know, real good characters, stuff like that. Um, and of course, it's going to give you, but, and of course, on top of it, you also got the buses, stations, you can always go to and check out. So let's go ahead and check out the resort and see what it has to offer. So the All-Stars Resorts, especially the movies, has five different uh, movie themes, um, which has two buildings in each theme area, which makes a total of 10 buildings. Uh, now, of course, the buildings get you know, all kinds of characters, like the uh, army man on top. Of course, you got the huge characters, Buzz, Woody. You also get extra areas. So, you know, this whole middle area was kind of made up to be like Annie's Playroom. Uh, what's cool about it is you'll find around the property, you'll find the different areas like ping pong tables, family can have fun. You know, a little, a little bit more to add to it. Moving into some more fun areas now, we have a great playground, they have two big jungle gym areas. I know my kids would absolutely love to hang out and play in this and they would wear off a lot of energy doing that. But right around the corner there, we also have the pool area. Now this is of course the laundry room, uh, the changing rooms, and then as well as the kiddie pool area. Kind of has more of a splash pad type of feel to it. Um, I know my kids would absolutely love this uh, when they were a little bit younger and, and kind of separates the, the younger kids from the older kids. But this is really where All Stars, I think, really shines because although the pool is just plain, there's no real huge thing to it, the, the figurines. I mean, you've got Fantasia Mickey right there up in front, uh, you know, spraying water out having fun i mean when you're a smaller kid you're gonna see this and just you know be absolutely floored and and have a lot of fun with this you know you don't have a slide or anything but again you've got fantasia mickey right there at your pool what kid wouldn't love that now the next buildings we have found of course are the fantasia buildings these are two buildings that surround the pool area and are right outside the main check-in building i love this theme i'm a huge fantasia fan love the sorcerer hat love the jack in the box the ballerina of course the walking brooms with the buckets and if you want to be close to the pool and the main building i would definitely let your uh, check-in agent know hey i want to stay at the fantasia building you know, and then actually just down the way from that, I also found a cast member, which this, I thought this was really fun. They were setting up a campfire to do things like s'mores, stuff like that. So a little added bonus that they tried to add in for your vacation to add a little bit more magic here and there, even if it's something small, it's like a little s'mores. Um, and then, of course, towards the back area of the property, you have the Herbie the Love Bug buildings. Um, I, I think this is a very open area. They have this little winter circuit, and sometimes they put uh, characters out there to um, sign autographs. But I love the theming of this this location. As I said, these look down. 
what these resorts lack in maybe some amenities and stuff like that they really really you know jump in different areas such as props and and items like that i mean we got herbie the love bug right behind me of course i'm in the herbie the love bug area this is definitely going to be a family style location um because you know these big standout items are going to be something that's really going to wow your kids especially younger kids stuff like that i i just love you know i, I walk around here and I see kids, you know, they, they see these big giant items, you know, the giant Mickey hat and it, their eyes just light up. It's, it's just, it's so fun to watch kids see these things. Adults don't, they see these things differently because, you know, it, it, to them it's just a hotel, but to a child, I mean, this is, to a child, this is just, you know, an absolute fun. I mean, they, they've never be seen anything this big, this fun, this, this outlandish to them. Um, they're actually going to get a blast out of this, um, and and that that's what I would recommend. But again, this could be for anybody just trying to save a little bit of money. Maybe you didn't want to get a you know rental car and you want to use the bus systems. You mean it, it, and you want to stay on property. This is an advantage to that as well. Now the last set of buildings we have, of course, is the 101 Dalmatians area. I love the walkways, love all the dog bones. Um, it, it's really fun. Uh, this is a great picture spot where you can uh, put your whole family on the TV. The dog can sit there and watch you. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that RCA uh, logo. Um, and of course, the big items here are the mom and the dad dogs. I can't remember their names, but if you do, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to remember who they are. Now I ran into these three times over at the All Star Resort. Um, I've seen them one other time at the Grand Floridian. I, I know they have something to do with the e-ticket, the old ticket systems. If you know, leave it in the comments down below. All right, so just outside the pool, they have the silver screen spirits. Of course, there's usually a pool bar in every area. All kinds of really cool um, food items and everything. How you doing there? Good, all good. So what's a must have here that people need to get? Pina Colada, man, the staple, staple ball pool bar. Pina Colada, can't go wrong with the Pina Colada. Yeah, Pina Colada don't hold it a raspberry swirl on there. There we go, that, that, now you're talking. Now, of course, you've got the main building, which kind of houses about everything. Now, this is the check-in area. This is the first area you're going to see when you come to stay at All Star Resorts. It's nice. It's open. Love the colors. Um, and it also has a lot of great memorabilia all over the walls from Star Wars to, you know, Cleopatra to Apollo 13. You know, it's just a lot of great classic movies. Forrest Gump. Uh, of course, you've got the man himself right on the wall, Walt Disney. Uh, we always got to remember the great um, you know, imagery and, and, and passion that Walt had. So I love I loved the, the look of all the memorabilia. It really makes you feel uh, the movies at the All-Star Movies. Uh, of course, you, you can't have a resort without a gift shop. Uh, we've got some wonderful cast members sitting out front there uh, and uh, greeting everybody. And then, of course, you can see they also have a All-Star exclusive merchandise if you want to get something while you're there. The rest of the stuff, you're going to find t-shirts, you're going to find all kinds. Of, it, it's basic stuff that you're going to find at these resorts that you can pick up quickly and take with you. Maybe something you forget. If you want specialty items, you're going to have to go to the parks. Um, but this is the place you're going to also find things like drinks, snacks, stuff you can bring back to your room. But what I loved about this gift shop is this gift shop had the theming down of almost being a concession lobby area. You got the box office concessions, great. And then that even moved right along in uh, to other parts of the main building. Of course, there is an arcade there with kids. I've said my piece about arcades before. Um, but of course, that um, moving into the food court, this is what I think of a classic movie lobby. You've got that really weird carpeting. Uh, it's just got that huge marquee, that great feel inside this this uh, food court area. Now, this is where you are going to find your main foods out here. A lot of a lot of times, this place is going to be really busy in the mornings with breakfast time. People stopping there, people coming to get foods at the end of the day. Um, and, you know, maybe if you didn't want to get some of the parks now, these are a great item to find. You can get cups, refillable cups for your entire stay. So it's a huge money saver. Um, as well as you've also can pick up anything else, uh, that you can find in there that you may just want to pick up small. They have some fantastic desserts you can just pick up in case you got that crave, that sweet tooth craving, uh, you know, in the middle of the night. Well, I don't know if they're open in the middle of the night, but, uh, if you got that sweet tooth craving, you can always come over here and grab something out of the case. And, uh, they have some fantastic items to, to solve that. Uh, sweet tooth craving for you. 
Um, and then one last thing I did find before I left. There's this really cool spot inside the seating area where kids, you know, maybe if you're still eating and kids are done, like mine, um, you got coloring areas for them so they can go color a picture while you're still eating. And, of course, they can still continue on with a fantastic theme. Love this building. Love the theming of it. Well, as you guys can see, this is a, a still a great resort. Whether you want to, whether it's labeled value, whether it fits in your budget, that's the great part about Disney. They have all different types of resorts to fit in all kinds of different people's budgets. And maybe you want to stay off resort, which is always a good possibility. And I'll be bringing you guys more of those eventually. But, you know, again, if you guys can come out here, you're going to get the extra added benefits. Maybe you don't need a rental car. Maybe you want to use the buses. Uh, maybe you don't need a big room and that'll save you some money. Maybe you just want the basic menus. Maybe you want to come in and get some food in that giant food court. Uh, usually stays open late. So again, I, I, I would typically see most families coming out here to check out this type of resort, but it doesn't mean that that's the only type of people that are going to come out to this resort. Um, so really it, it comes down to what it is that you are looking for in a vacation and what it is that you can afford, you know, because everybody's, everybody's, you know, price is going to be a little bit different. You can go for that upscale Grand Floridian, you know, big resort, big amenities, big items, and go for it. If you want to come out here and enjoy more of the parks, um, not so much of a resort person, then come on out here, save some money, go to one of these all-star resorts um, and check it out. Now, I will recommend... Now, if we did see around here, there was maybe a little bit less people out here right now, but that's because it is a little bit of a quieter time. Now, come during the summertime, this place will be packed. Pretty much every room around here is going to be full. So just keep that in mind. At different times of the year, is going to bring in big uh, groups of people. Spring break will bring in a lot of people to this resort because families are going to want to save a buck, want to put more money into the parks. So they're going to come to a place like the All-Stars. But that's all I got for you guys today. I would always appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, or if you have any more questions about this resort, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that red subscribe button along with that post notification bell. So that way you guys get notified of all the most recent videos that I do start, uh, as well as sometimes any live streams that I do start as well. Those, I mean, those are always fun to come and interact with. Another great way if you want to help support the channel is hit that join button down below. That is my Donut Life uh, membership and you can join for as little as $1 a month. And I do a live stream on that for members only once a month. That's where I do my giveaways. So that's always something to check out as well. But as I always like to say here at Mr. TechBot, do what you like, do what you love. And always guys, don't forget to unleash your inner nerd. Take it easy until next time. Later.